Social media may have started out as just a way to connect with old classmates and faraway friends and family. But today, it has become a go-to destination for businesses and influencers. With more than 2 billion monthly active users on Facebook and another 800 million on Instagram, you may be wondering what the best ways are to reach that audience. Miranda Husky is the founder of Beyond Social, a marketing agency that specializes in communications, social media, video, and photography. She's here to give us some tips on how you can start building your brand's social media presence. Yeah. Welcome, Miranda. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. It's crazy how much this has grown and how much thought goes into one single post when before it was just like, I don't really care, I'm just going to post it, you know? But yeah, it's the, changed. The best is when you get those um, like time lapse things, memories from like college, and you're like, right. that's what I put out on social media. I went right. through that these days. Right. So, like, I yeah. clearly had no thought behind yeah, that. Yeah. But <laughs> let's talk about why we would want to build a brand. Yeah, you know, I think it's important to really express who you are so everyone gets to know you as a person, um, whether it's just um, for a business, for a job opportunity, um, or just letting people know if you're looking to do something new. I mean, like when I wanted to start running, I started, you know, making that a little more known and people were giving me all sorts of tips. So it's a great idea. So let's talk about some of the different platforms that you can build a brand on. Yeah, so, I mean, there's so many, and they're constantly changing. We're thinking about the obvious ones, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, some of the ones that are a little more um, maybe not so thought of is YouTube. I mean, that's a great way. LinkedIn is a huge one, especially if you're looking for a job. Um, I mean, then there's, like, Snapchat and all those other fun kind of instant ones that you can't see for, for very long. So what's the best way to go about that? I mean... If I'm on YouTube, do I also have to have a Facebook page or yeah. can I just have one? No, I think really you have to know where your target audience is. Um, and so if you're really trying to build up something you do, so you make, um, you make food or you make signs or um, whatever kind of your niche would be, uh, you really just need to focus on where would your target audience would be. So it's very photo um, heavy, I would do Instagram. Right, Facebook is so nice because it's really general. Mm -hmm. um, Twitter is very newsy, um, so it's very instant and then it's gone. Um, so I think you just really have to know what's the best medium for you. And another tip from you is that we should join groups yes. that are in that same topic. So what should we do in those groups? I think the best thing to do is just help people, share free advice, um, and give, your, give value. I think that's probably key because people don't know who you are until you start um, pouring into them and then they start to trust you, which is probably one of the best things you can do for yourself and your brand. So we spend a lot of time on social media. We just read in that factoid how many minutes and now our phones tell us like our weekly average <laughs> yes. and how many minutes per day on each thing. So we, we have a lot of people's posts that we see and sometimes people do better at posting than we do. Yep. So why do we still want to be authentic though? Um, I think you need to be authentic because otherwise, who are you, right? People need to get to know you and trust you as a brand. And uh, I think it's really easy to look at someone else's feed or someone else's videos and think, oh, I want to be just like them. But that's their thing. You know, God made them different than you are. Be your person and you'll find your people. And I think that's probably the most important thing because people don't, you know, we don't like the touched up um, images on magazines, right? Like people don't like that. They want the real bodies. And so I think that's kind of along that same line. So I'm going to focus in a little bit to Facebook right now because you said that is a little bit more general. Yeah. When we're posting, how can we get more engagement? You know, I think a great thing is, you know, pictures and images, uh, videos, and um, asking the poll questions. That's kind of a fun thing now too if you have a, a page. Uh, so make sure you're just doing things that make people think, asking people for advice. Um, you know, if you're a mom and you're like, hey, what brand of diapers are the best, right? Moms will love to tell you what they use because they struggled themselves. You know, so it's just kind of whatever your um, brand or your people might be, think of good and engaging questions. Um, I asked a question about what is your favorite drink of coffee, and that was one of my most popular posts I had. Oh, interesting. Yeah. People okay. love to share. So is there a way to track this? But yeah, most things have some sort of like an insights is what Facebook calls them. So you can see, you know, the progress and how much engagement it's getting, how much reach it's getting, all these different things. So you can track what's popular. And then knowing that, you can see 
what types of things you should maybe keep posting. But even you can see the times of days that your audience is online. You know, the sad thing I maybe shouldn't say here on camera is that most people are actually online during work hours. Um, so oh. I find posting actually during the day is the best, not at, you know, 5 o'clock when people are maybe off. So I think some people just get bored and, and check that. But usually I try to post right before lunch um, so that people go onto social media or whatever uh, during their lunch hour, then they might see it. So we should be posting during the day, yeah. not when we leave. Not when you leave. Interesting, but I guess you are getting home, you're with your family, you're yeah. busy getting ready for the next day, so that does make sense. Yeah. But, and I mean, we want to get, you know, the likes, the different things, yeah. so the more people we reach, the better. But when it comes to networking, how can you use your brand to do that? Well, I think, you know, joining the groups is a great way to find networks. Um, there's one in Sioux Falls, the Sioux Falls Startup Group. Um, that's a great way to network. But you find other people who are like you, and then you'll want to, st you can start your own group, but you can either find other groups that you just join in, and um, that's a great way to network. And then you think about LinkedIn. Um, that is all that LinkedIn is supposed to do, right? You connect with other people um, and, and network. So from your personal experience with this, from challenges that you face, what is your biggest piece of advice to help people? Mm. I would say it, most people struggle with the actual act of finding something to say and posting. So the best thing I would say is sit down, like the beginning of the month or right now, think of what you have going on in September, and then think, okay, I'm going to schedule twice a week, three times a week, plan it out, and schedule it. A lot of things you can schedule or a lot of ones like um, like buffer, you can kind of make a cue, just schedule it and then you don't have to worry about it. And th so think ahead and don't get stressed out about, oh, is it perfect enough? Just get it out there. All right. Thank you so much for all of the tips. I think Thank we can you. all benefit from those. Thanks.